just lose. <laughs> Keep building on that, come on up. This, your spinal cord is being pulled or what we call tethered, right? So imagine how uncomfortable, like, if someone did this to you. Mm -hmm. Hey, get off my sweater, bro. Yeah. Like, but all day, every day, your spinal cord is being pulled. Okay. We call that no bueno. So we want to obviously get the neck back. But similarly, your thoracic spine, which has a normal, natural, slight curve in it, mm -hmm. is actually flattening. And it's counterintuitive because you think, well, don't I want to stand up straight, but you're actually too straight here. Oh, well, okay. So this will cause so much neck and upper back pain. So this area, if I may. Go for it. This area through here. Yeah, that's where it already hurts. Yeah, and it's like always. And you can get a massage. Yeah. And someone can beat you up and you're like, oh, that's so good. And then like the next day you're hurting. It doesn't go away, yeah. 100%. Because the muscles are being told what to do by the spinal position that inputs motion. Input information to the brain, the brain tells the muscles, hold on. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. A lot of sense. And then, of course, not too bad. Oh. You got a little, little stuff to work on. <sighs> yeah, I know. Like, is that me? Ah! It's all right, but you know, it's powerful to look at it, right? Because now we got to work. Yeah. All right, so you're going to lay onto your back here? I haven't really been on a strict adjustment program or regimen. Yeah, yeah, understood. Yeah. Okay, let's just go ahead. Okay. Awesome effort, good job. You were so nervous. I was like, pull this way. Pull this way? Yeah, towards the knees. <laughs> Good shot. Okay, hand here, yeah. abs okay. tight, come on up. Always engage the abs, and then you're gonna lay on your tummy. So this is a muscle called the QL. If you've seen anything online, you've probably seen me work on this because most people with lower back issues mm -hmm. or misalignment issues have a misfiring QL. So some of the muscle work, as you know with Dr. G, feels really good, and others not. Yeah. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. I pull this way, okay. you pull this way towards you, Lise. Go ahead. Okay. Solid. And then opposite here, so you're going to push this way. Okay. Push, push towards me. Nice. So those are the piriformis muscles. They live here. Uh -huh. Those are both firing. We're going to do what's called a counter strain on your glutes. So you relax. Okay. I'm going to hold you here. Mm -hmm. My other hand goes here on your sacrum, mm -hmm. and you're going to breathe in deep. And out. No help, though. The glutes relax, oh. and then I'll do all the work. You, all you're doing is not breathing in. Ooh. Is your knee okay here? Yeah, I just felt a little pinch in that spot. Oh, in the low back? Yeah, that's yeah. a little more feeling. Yeah. Have you ever had your feet adjusted? I don't think so. Cool. The feet need to move. There's 26 bones in each foot, so if they don't move properly, we get issues. Oh. Good move. Did okay there? Mm -hmm. And out. Chest relax. Oh, good job. Do you know what's crazy? The psoas muscle, it goes down underneath the intestines and locks into the spine. Oh, gosh. And so many people don't get that connection between the spine and the organs. And it's two ways. It's through the nerves, mm -hmm. because the nerves that come out of the lower back go to the pelvis, the pelvic organs, the digestive organs, but also like they're connected by muscles, tendons, mm -hmm. ligaments. So it's so crazy how it just all relates. Yeah. I always tell Dr. G, watch out, I might burp or something. Yeah, it's all good, you know. <laughs> hey, you know what? Once you have been taking care of people for a good amount of time, like. We're all the same, yeah. you know, there's, no, there's nothing. You've seen it all. Yeah, like there's nothing weird or gross about the body. It just is what it is. Yeah, so the psoas muscles, especially in someone with a scoliosis, mm -hmm. overworked and underpaid when you lift this. Do you exercise much? Mm -hmm. What is your exercise of choice? Um, make sure of like Pilates, like hit Pilates. Uh huh. Um, that's been my go-to. Mm -hmm. A lot of walking Very Pilates. Cool. I used to do like CrossFit and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. like, just wasn't for me. Got over long term. Yeah. You 
you've got to be pretty hardcore to do CrossFit long Yeah, time. I like did that, then I did Orange Theory, then I did F45, I've kind of done, yeah. <laughs> you went through everything? Yeah. That's actually pretty funny, you kind of made your rounds. I went through everything, and then I'm like, I'll stick to Pilates. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I don't know, I was trying to push up. You push up? Solid. Push up again. Look at you. Make sure it's all moving. Tight feet. I know, sorry. Are you a dancer or something? No, I always get that though. All right. I know, I'm a tight one. I'm hard. In, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> so, so for this one, you have to lift your hips up in the air. Up, up, up. Right there, drop. Breath in. And out. Uh, hips loose. <laughs> Come on up this way. Beautiful. What did you do to your neck? I don't know. Phones? Core accidents? No. I've never been in a car accident. Bicycle accident? Maybe. Rollerblading, skateboarding, snowboarding, skiing? I do snowboard, I do ski, but I don't think I would fall up I mean, Hmm. That's a that? pretty good web lash. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Well, maybe it could be snowboarding. I did, I did fall snowboarding. I mean, yeah, we all fall, right? Yeah. How many times have you been in so far? This, this is, is my second time. Second time, okay. Yeah. There's an existing level of inflammation. Mm -hmm. Let's just make up a scale, one to ten. Okay. Ten is like severely inflamed, one is like perfect, right? Six, seven. Eee! It's not horrible, it's, okay. pretty, it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. It's not horrible though, like mm -hmm. nine, ten. So daily, ice pack, okay. maybe you're making your tea, coffee, water, breakfast yeah. in the morning, you put it around your neck. 20 minutes, timer goes off, maybe flip it, maybe put it back in the freezer. Yeah. Damn. What would you say is your biggest area though? Neck, upper back, for Neck, sure? Neck, upper back, for 100%. Okay, I'm gonna think of some exercises to give you. What are you back? Cool. What are you back next? Oh, sorry, I don't know, whatever you guys want me. Cool, okay, probably <laughs> tomorrow, okay? Cool, that's fine. So come on over, let's get you on traction. Okay.